Hey, you that just saw this video, don't skip. I have a message for you. Today is November 8th. Oh, that's Dutch. November 11th, 221. So, I had, I keep having these revelations upon revelations. And sometimes it's not like I really don't want to talk about these things that I see, but I just feel like, oh, listen. Do people still listening? Like, why if they say now nah, waiting? No, I can't na go even now. Now what they do now? But as a messenger of God, as a child of God, it's not for people to. You don't have to have that heart of if people will listen to you or not. Just do what you have to do and let those who have it hear, let them hear, and those who don't. But just know that you have, you know, sent out the message that God wants you to send out there so i'll be having this revelation about the world ending fight sorrows cry everybody on their own mothers kids on their own and i know paul will say oh typical yeah everybody say that every year and the world is still not ending sometimes the world and the revelations like this does not mean the world is ending it means that God is not happy with how the world is going. It means that God wants people like me to speak to you that is not happy with the way people are suffering, is not happy with the way the world is going. This is not the plan of God for us as humans. So if someone says they are having a dream, is wanting to be a child of God, is another thing to be able to interpret the message that God has sent you to say out to people so if someone tells you dreams like this it doesn't necessarily mean that the world is ending it means that it's in the eyes of god it feels like the world is ended it is collapsed because this is not a plan of of god for the world he is created he created a better place for us somewhere that we can find peace we can find rest we can be happy but we humans are the ones destroying it yeah Yes, it's our time you stop saying the devil is doing this, the devil is doing that. Because most of the people are the ones that are destroying the world. The devil now lives amongst humans. And the devil is in your heart. The God you know is in your heart. You know, the wickedness you are showing to a fellow human like you, the backstabbing you're stabbing a fellow human like you, you're, stabbing, you're backstabbing your own flesh and blood. Because it doesn't matter the color of our skin, we all were created by God. And this is why I, it doesn't sit well with me anymore when somebody say uh, someone is racist. Because I feel like there are bad people everywhere. There are bad people home. They are bad. Your own brother can be bad to you. Your own sister can be bad to you. You're, like, I just, the way I say this word, there is bad people everywhere. There is a bad african person there is a bad european person there is a bad caucasian person there is a bad asian person there is a bad chinese person like it's just how i see it and one person being bad does not you know it does not create an image for a whole group it doesn't make me see the whole group like oh this person is bad if you're bad, I see that you're bad to me. Not because I don't see your tribe, that your tribe is bad. I don't see the, your country, that your country is bad. I don't see your color, that your color is bad. The way you treat me is how I I feel like I, I see it as you. Not I don't take it directly to other people. I don't say this particular people are bad, this particular people are good. Like I just say that you you are you. And going back to my message, the world is falling apart because of you and I. We have a hand in what is going on in the world. Like we have a play in it. This is not what God has created. And this is why God keeps revealing it each and every day to people like us to say to you that this is not what he wants. And the worst part is no one cares to listen anymore. No one cares to listen to what God wants anymore. The funny thing is, people feel like what God wants is for God. To see how selfish people can be, how, you know, self-judged they can be, they can, they feel like what God wants 
God is sitting pretty amazingly in heaven. And whatever that's going on on earth cannot hurt God. But it hurts him because God is hurt. He said, I am you. You are me. Like I created you of my own image. You are the half of God's eyes. And this is the reason why when you are hurt, God is hurt. This is the reason why they will say there's this say Nigeria man not be God because no one is like God. God does not have the heart that you have. God does not think about things the way you think about them. God does not see things the way you see them. Even God that has created us has given us the right to do whatever. And there is nobody that will give you the right that God has given you except God himself. Sometimes I sit and I still wonder why people prefer to, to be evil. Why people prefer to go the wrong direction when they know the right direction to face in life. It baffles me. It surprises me. And things like this. And sometimes I will be like, how is God feeling with all of the heartbreak that we are giving to God? With all of that God has expected from us. And we still keep doing more harm to ourselves and how does God feel about this? Do you do you sometimes sit and think like how does God feel? Those things that you're doing, does it sit right with God? Not just with you, does it sit right with Him? And many people have this mentality that you being good is because you want to follow God. It doesn't favor God, it favors you. You are good for you, you are evil for you. So those commandments that God has laid down. God has put it down for, for us, not for him. People will say, you know, you're not following the commandment of God. You're not a child of God because, yeah, it's hard to follow God. But those things are not for God. God said, do not lie. It's for you because God knows you'll feel bad if someone lies against you. So do not lie against someone else. Do not take what does not belong to you. Because you will feel bad too if someone take what belongs to you. Those things are for you. And I want you to start seeing them like that. Don't, stop seeing them like you're trying to please God. You're doing those things. You're doing them for you, not for God. The, every time you keep feeling, thinking that you're doing those things for God, you keep getting it wrong. Sometimes I see it. I think about those things and I'm like... I don't know how I can put it in someone else's head. Like, these things, we benefit it, not God. We benefit being good, not God. And sometimes, and sometimes people feel like, ah, oh, if I'm, if I'm good, I don't even benefit it sometimes. That is a lie. You keep telling yourself this thing that, mm, I've been good to people. People have been bad to me. I don't. I've not enjoyed it. That is a lie. It's a big lie. Because you have peace of mind. Those people you're comparing yourself with, that you're feeling like, oh, I'll be good to them, but they have been bad to me. You don't know the kind of, you know, headache they sleep with. But you, you have peace. You have peace. You're contented. You have peace of mind in your heart, knowing that you're not planning any evil against anyone. Some people do not sleep well at night because they are planning evil against someone else. And that is not you. And that is you benefiting from your pure heart. Sometimes, things we, the things we look away from are mostly important than the things we, we, we keep chasing after daily. They are more important than those things. Mo Example, peace of mind. A lot of people, they don't recognize what peace of mind is. Many people you see, many people you meet, it, you're just seeing the picture that they have painted. You have not gone into them. You have not been a little close to them to see how their lives, the kind of life that they are living. But yet, you are far, you heavy them, you heavy their sources. You have not know how long it took them to work hard to be where they are. Or what it took them to get what they have. You are jealous of them. You keep putting yourself in the shoes of people that you are not wearing. That is not even your size. God is weeping for us daily because he loves us. This is what your mom can't do. There are some times as, as a child, you, 
you, you disturb your parents too much and they give up on you. Sometimes you don't even have to disturb them. They're just like, okay. As, as a sibling, you disturb your sibling too much and they give up on you. But this one person that does not, not give up on you, never gave up on you, is God. And you still feel like he owes you something. You still feel like the things you're doing, you're doing it for him. Today, I want you to change that mindset. It's my message to you. Change that mindset of feeling like you are satisfying God. Change that mindset of you feeling like you are satisfying God. Because of a true, you are not satisfying God. Everything you do, you do it for you. And God is happy, is pleased because he wants you to be good. It's not for himself. God is amazing. God is perfect. It's not for himself. He wants you to be good. So he's pleased when you do something good. So change that mindset of you doing those. I bet I know why they do God things again. I don't want to be doing the things of the Lord. It does a favor. It favors you. Look at it. Take a close look at it. Think about it. Think about how many things you have. Someone like me. Huh? Like all of the things that I've been through in life and how I keep getting up from them, how I keep fighting like nothing has happened. It's one of the things that has made me, it remind me constantly that God loves me perfectly. God loves me like crazily. God has this, you know, on, on dying love for me. Because I see some people don't go through half of what I've been through and they complain so much. And me that have been through a million times more than what people have been through, I still don't complain. I'm still glowing. I'm still dripping in glory. And it, it, it makes me happy. It makes me like, yes, God did for me. Like God is with me. Because I know how many times a pit has been dug for me. But... I keep getting out of it somehow, anyhow, I'm out of it already and, and it's beautiful to, it's, it's, it's amazing to know that God loves you. It's, it's perfect to, it's, it's something you cannot compare. So stop thinking that every little thing you're doing, you're doing it for God or you're doing it for someone else because the truth is you're doing it for you. Whatever you do, you're doing it for you. That's why whatever you cannot do, step out of it. Whatever that has not given you peace, step out of it. Any person that is making you feel not you, step out of it. Because God wants you to be happy. Because whatever that is happening in this world, we are the one creating it, not even the devil. Like we are the one that keep inviting the the devil. You keep inviting the devil. You keep telling the you keep you allow the devil to use you. That is the word for it. You allow him. You give him the space, the time to use you. The time that you have in planning evil against your fellow brethren, your fellow sister, your fellow brother. Everyone on this head is your brother and your sister. Look after them just not because you want to look after them, but because you want someone else to look after you too. Because you, you, if you, if, if you, if you've been in these shoes before, you, you want someone to be there for you. So be there for someone. Share love. The world is, is, is getting crazy. Don't you see with, with all of the millions that people have billions, trillions. There is still hunger in the world. Don't that baffles you? Don't you sit and think about it? It's not feeling entitled because you should never be entitled. A, a child of God should never be entitled to what you never worked for. Because the Bible says man should go to work in the morning and expect to harvest in the evening. So you should never be entitled. But I'm just saying this like, don't you see the amount of money some people have? You can feel the whole world. Yet, there is still hunger in the world. People are still suffering in the world. That's because of greed. That's because we don't love ourselves enough. God has tried to make this world beautiful, but we keep destroying it by allowing someone else to go hungry when you have multitude of food to share. By allowing someone else to go without a piece of bread when you have loads of bread swelling in the back of your house that you are not eating. My message today is, it's November F, 11. I keep saying F. 
ways it's just a month and this year is over be good change your ways be of god and nobody can really take you to the devil except you no one can really lead you to sin except you lead yourself right the road that god has you know hoping for you follow it and you can only follow it when you are for god have a blessed week have a blessed day think about those things that i've said let it seek him stay blessed